Hi, my name is Stephanie. I am a software developer and I'm here with Codecademy today, bringing to you all the reasons why coding is useful for everyone. As we become more reliant on technology, code plays a much bigger role in our lives. So even just some basic knowledge of how to code can help improve our interactions with technology. And the ability to write code extends way beyond learning a language. It helps you build on other skills that are applicable in any field. Today, all the technology that we interact with, from our cell phones to messages, they're all powered by code. When we send a message, it may seem like there's a fairy running around in the background to pass the messages back and forth. But contrary to the popular belief, it's all powered by a piece of code. Then there's more code that will alert their recipient, hey, you've got a new message. There's even code powering the videos we watch and the websites we browse through. Speaking of websites, have you ever felt helpless when you're trying to load a page and then you get this wheel that never stops spinning? Well, fun fact, a lot of these spinning wheels are designed to make you think that progress is being made and the weight isn't that bad, but then you realize that it's been spinning forever and then you have no idea what to do. So you figure it's broken and you just give up. No matter what you do, how old you are, where you are, unless you're in an area with bad internet connection, just knowing a little bit about coding, particularly web development in this case, can help you figure out what's wrong. All the people I have met that have picked up coding abilities come from vastly different backgrounds. Some were truckers who needed a career change. Others are sales representatives whose coding backgrounds help them fully understand their company software and communicate the benefits of the product more effectively to their clients. I have friends that are financial analysts that want to learn how to use Python and SQL to build scripts that will run different analyses on their data. This allows them to draw conclusions from financial trends more accurately and efficiently. Just yesterday, I spoke with a guy who owns a small home improvement business and is looking to expand his customer base. He plans on using his coding skills to create an app where he can interact with his clients and roll out a loyalty and referral program. For my marketers and designers, having CSS skills allows them to design websites more effectively and communicate better with the developers that are building the website. Actually, regardless of your current or future occupation, anyone can use it to be better and more creative at their job. It can seem a little intimidating, but Code Academy is a great resource to get your feet wet and help you lay down some fundamentals that can translate into any kind of problem solving. When you write code, you're also forming a new perspective and learning how to think creatively through it. This is because when you write code for your computer to run, it can only execute one small task at a time, so you have to break down a problem into bite-sized instructions to guide the computer to do what you want. Kind of like if your friend was blindfolded and trying to make it PB&J. Since you have all the information of where everything is, you have to break the process down for them, from how to get the bread out of the bag all the way down to how to slice the sandwich. And on top of that, you'll have to be creative. Like, what if you only have one spoon to make the sandwich? Your instructions would definitely be more different than if you were just using a knife. Code is very much a team effort. A large part of it is also working effectively in a team, especially for larger projects, like building out an application or finding a solution to a really difficult problem. A lot of times you need to be able to clearly communicate with your team members to make sure the code flows cohesively. These kinds of communication skills are transferable to any environment and are especially critical in a work environment. One of the most valuable skills I've gained from working on teams is recognizing when I've taken on too much and knowing when to reach out to my team members for help. Technology is for making our lives easier, and there is code powering technology. So this should mean that code is for making our lives easier, right? Right. Using code to automate any task is kind of like waving your magic wand and kicking back while the dishes wash themselves. If you're shopping online and you want to know when an item is back in stock, you can write some code to alert you when it's ready. You could also use some code to build out a website that will advertise the company you're running. 
I mean, during college, class registration began at 7 a.m. before the end of the previous semester. And thankfully, it was online, but it wasn't enough. I'm the kind of person that likes to see as little of the morning as possible. So I wrote a script that would load up my classes for the semester and then enroll me at 7 a.m. so I could sleep. Or if you use Excel to manage data, you may have noticed that you're a lot more prone to errors when you're manipulating the data and that you see a huge lag when you have really, really large data sets. Well, I've got a fix for you. Just automate that. Say you have a list of transactions that your grocery store made in a year, and you're trying to get all the transactions where an apple was bought. If you're trying to do this in Excel, there are a lot of steps and buttons you would have to click to make this happen. And if you're a popular grocery store, you're going to have thousands and thousands of rows to go through, and you'll be waiting around for ever. But if you wrote some code to do all of that for you, you'll be less prone to errors and your code can go through those thousands of rows more quickly than Excel. Plus, you can run the script on next year's data set without any additional effort on your part. There's a lot of manual work out there that can just be pushed onto some code instead. So why not let your code do the heavy lifting while you get to sit back and relax and sip your bubble tea, and in the process, you can improve your team skills and form a new perspective that enables you to think differently and more creatively. And if you ever get stuck, well, the coding community is always here to help because at the end of the day, we're all just trying to make people's lives easier. Well, thanks for watching. This was Stephanie with Code Academy, and I really hope you found this video helpful. Please join the conversation by subscribing to the channel or dropping a comment below. And if you're ready to take your skills to the next level, join Code Academy today.